This is meteorologist Ted Keller. It's a Monday afternoon. Got shower and thunderstorm areas still affecting us for the next several days. It could be pretty beneficial rainfall-wise, although still maybe hit and miss. It's just kind of hard to say. These are notorious for being hard to time, these clusters of showers and storms. Case in point today, here's the loop, and you'll see that one little dying rain area is uh, fading over McDonald and Newton County. A couple thunderstorms. Thought we might fire those up a little bit today and slide to a weather watch area. Spirit thunderstorm watch in that area outlined in yellow. So far, the only cells worthy of that have been uh, passing well to the south of the uh, Ozarks proper. And our temperatures have been held back because of the high cloud uh, shield. That's this uh, milky cloud here that's blowing off the top. So those once thunderstorms, our temperature is 83 degrees in Springfield. Now we'll turn our attention off to the northwest up here. Here. And any of these could activate tonight. There could be some cells up here uh, that act actually activate into a thunderstorm cluster or some of this stuff. Anything that does, of course, would slide in this direction. But the key is where will that develop? So we're just going to keep our eyes peeled for that possibility tonight and for the next couple of nights. Rain cooled air, Joplin 73, even cooler than us. Meanwhile, 90 at Lake Ozark. And here's the rain projection for about the next five days, maybe a three and a half to four inch area over a broad section of southwest Missouri and northern Arkansas, with northern Arkansas needing the rain a little bit more, but we could all use a shot in the arm. Temperatures are going to be, it's going to be hard to get to 90. In fact, the front later in the week will prevent that. We may only have a high of 80 on Saturday.